Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. Today I have got a great recipe for you that you're going to be able to use with your sourdough discard. So if you're like me, when you first started baking with sourdough and you had to make your starter, you're constantly having to throw away the part that you discard. Well, one of the best recipes I have ever tried is this one that I recently came up with for these sourdough discard crackers. They are so thin and light and crispy and they're super tangy. They almost taste like they have cheese in them, but really all it is is your uh, discarded sourdough starter. The herbs that I like to use are herbs de Provence, but you can use any dried herb or a fresh herb that you like. There's salt and then there's butter. Now I like the taste of butter in these crackers, but you can use olive oil if you'd like but I feel like the butter just goes much better with the flavors. The olive oil kind of gives it more of a oily flavor, but like I said, if you don't eat butter, you can definitely use olive oil. So let's go ahead and I will show you how to put these sourdough discard crackers together. Start out by melting your butter into a medium sized mixing bowl and then weigh out your starter. Add the salt, and your herbs and give that a really good stir until it's completely combined with each other. You don't wanna see any of that butter floating around on top. So once that's all mixed really well, just dump that out right onto your parchment paper and then use an offset spatula to spread it out into a really thin and even layer. Don't worry if it's really thin in some parts, it's still going to cook up really well. Now go ahead and sprinkle the top with salt and then transfer that parchment paper onto the baking sheet. You'll want to have preheated your oven to 325 degrees and go ahead and we're going to bake that for 10 minutes and then you're going to remove it and score the, uh, the dough with either a sharp knife or a pizza cutter. So let that bake for another 50 minutes and then you can go ahead, let it cool completely, and then start breaking them apart. You can see this one's very, very thin, but it's still baked up perfectly. So it's still very delicious. So um, I like to keep mine in these WEC jars because they have a really good tight seal on the, the lid, but you can use any kind of airtight container that you have. And these will stay good at room temperature for up to a week. So that's it you guys, that's how you make sourdough discard crackers. It's really just that easy. So we like to eat them with hummus and they go really well on charcuterie boards, but they're just really great to have on hand for a snack. And the good thing about your sourdough discard is that it's already fermented. So if you're interested and you like to make fermented foods for your friends and family, then this is just a really good recipe to have in your arsenal of sourdough recipes. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel and we'll have more sourdough recipes coming at you really soon. So until next time, bye.